the reality of human life yeah. is that we're subject to a host of uncontrollable natural disasters that are imminent. Yes. They're going to happen. Yes. Yellowstone's going to blow. We're going to get hit by an asteroid, and we might nuke ourselves, too. Sure. Like, all that stuff is real, too. So that's yes. all on the table. And also, I've uh, talked to enough people that are, like, really... They're really educated in the history of ancient cultures and ancient civilizations and the evidence of Natural disasters wiping people out and people having to start from scratch It seems it seems like we're a part of like this giant never-ending cycle of getting knocked back into the Stone Age and then rebuilding to a new version of complex society I think we're on a version of that now, but I think there's been many versions of that Yeah, I, I, I think that that's also on the table for us But I think it'd be a lot easier for us to bounce back than someone 2,000 years ago with our technology and, and our ability to <clears throat> no, mm -hmm. no, no, not at all. Not at all because when it hits first of all very few people survive and everything goes to shit There's no electricity. No generators work. There's no one pumping oil No one Wait, knows how to make a generator. No one knows how to make a cell phone So all that technology is lost. Well the Jim Baker people do wait So what, <laughs> but what would this be like a meteor other than a meteor hitting the Meteor's earth? What would cause hitting. this? Super volcano would kill okay. almost all of us the Yellowstone super volcano It's a caldera volcano like they didn't they didn't realize that it was so big until somewhere in like the 2000s Thousands, I think it was they did satellite imagery and they realized oh my god That's the caldera of a volcano like this Yellowstone thing We thought it was just this crazy place with hot springs like no That's a super volcano that is a continent killer and it blows every six to eight hundred thousand years and Everyone dies like the whole fucking country dies and it happens every six to eight hundred thousand years And the last time it happened was like six hundred thousand see ago. that's another reason Texas should be its own country well, we'll get we'll get hit. We'll get hit. We're all gonna die if that happens. We're fucked. Like maybe people in New Zealand will live, and those folks would be the new people. You know, th th it's happened before. Was it the Toba? Was that what it was? Yeah, in Indonesia, there was a Toba volcano in Indonesia seventy thousand years ago. They think knocked the human race down to a few thousand people. Holy shit! Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. These things happen, man, and they happen with regularity. In terms of the, if you look at the timeline of the Earth. They happen all the time. It's just when is it going to happen now? Or is it going to happen a thousand years from now when we have enough technology to mitigate it, it, its effects in some way? But when it happens, you get nuclear winter. Everything dies. No crops. Nothing. There's, everything's, the sun doesn't get through. The, yeah, the skies are filled with ash. You, you can't live there's no your, food. You can't really live your life with concerned about something like that happening. I'm tomorrow. not living my wife, okay. life with concern. I'm saying that's also on the table. Sure. So that's why I'm gray. Okay. Get it? Because I'm like, yeah, this hopefully it's going to be great, you know, but maybe not. And for all of us, the end is going to suck. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad to hear you're more concerned as I am, if I had to choose, between natural disaster or like, you know, we're all going to end up killing each other. I'm uh, concerned with both, but I'm, con I'm always concerned with things that people are dismissive of or that they don't, they don't think of as a threat because that's when they hit you. When, when something like nobody, like people lived in Pompeii, they're like, that volcano? Don't worry about it. We're good. Until you have to worry about it. Until, yeah. you know, they just didn't understand. Like, you're, you're in a terrible spot to put a city. Like, if that thing goes, and it goes all the time, it just doesn't go within your lifetime, so you don't understand. Like, you're, you're dealing with an ant's timeline. You know, an ant to us, an ant lives for a fucking few days. Right. They're gone. We live a hundred years if we're lucky. Volcanoes are hundreds of thousands of years of activity and they go on these long cycles some of them these super volcanoes And they just fucking blow and you never know when it's gonna happen and that's they create fucking islands in the middle of the ocean That's what Hawaii is. Yeah, yeah. it's a fucking volcano that sprung out of the ocean And now you go vacation there and put fucking suntan lotion on and sit out there and have margaritas. You're on a volcano you're on the 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 Creative and destructive force of the earth the thing that makes mountains and you're camping out on it And that's what that's our life. That's the reality of living on earth is this is not stable That's why all these nutty people that are talking about climate change is gonna kill us. And it's gonna kill us it's, it's not good. It's not good that we're polluting It's not good that we're having a net negative effect on the atmosphere But also there's so many other things to right. be concerned with 
the, we have zero solution to super volcanoes. We have zero solution to asteroid impacts. We have zero solution to things that have wiped out. We know they killed off the dinosaurs. Right, right. We know that. We know it. We're for a hundred percent. They fucking find the crater in the Yucatan. They find craters all over the place. They found a big one in Greenland. Or Isn't in there one in Siberia or somewhere? Oh yeah, the Tunguska. Yeah, one. yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one that they think happened during the time where Earth passes through this meteor shower. There's or is a comet shower. How do they refer to it? But there's, I think it's every September, or no, every November and every June, we pass through this thing. And most of the time, it just gives you meteor showers in the sky. You see, like, the, you know, people get yeah, excited yeah, course, about yeah. that. You can kind of predict when that happens. Well, that's why they know that it's going to happen, because it, it happens during these times we go through this uh, meteor sh shower. They think that that is what happened in Tunguska in the early 1900s because it happened during that timeline. So whatever this thing was, it didn't even make impact with the ground. It detonated in the sky and it killed like a fuck, like a million acres or some crazy shit of trees. How, how, how much did, uh, I know I exaggerated that number. How much did it, I think I did. How much did Tunguska destroy? No, but it was like some kind of crazy bomb equivalent. A light yeah. bomb. Yeah. Well, that's what they think happened to earth around 11,800 years ago. That's the younger driest impact theory. It's during the same timeline. 12, yeah, 12, 12 megaton. megaton explosion. Jeez Louise. Holy shit, look at that picture. And to this day, it, there's no trees there. Seriously? Yes, to this day. Why? Because it's fucking nuked. <laughs> I don't know, no, man. Is it, it's not, is it radioactive? Like, I, literally? It just blew it out, man. I don't know. It just blew out whatever fucking wow. it did to that area. That soil sucks. <laughs> Holy crap. Isn't that crazy? 1908. That wasn't that long ago. So they think that's also what happened at the end of the Ice Age. They think that the Earth and you know North America's ice caps got smashed by comets. And that's what caused like the Great Lakes. And that's what caused like, the, this mass or erosion, uh, topographical details in the Earth that lead out to the ocean, like these enormous fucking floods. And that's probably Noah's Ark flood. That's what it, it probably knocked human beings back into the fucking Stone Age again. So our idea of civilization propping up or emerging around 6,000 years ago, which they used to think, these guys are saying it's probably way earlier than that. Oh, it's, it's just a cycle. 20,000 years. Boots. Yeah. And that's how, that explains the pyramids. That explains these incredibly complex geometric structures they built in Africa who knows how many thousand years ago? How the fuck did they do it? No one knows. No one has any good ideas. All the ideas suck. All of them are like ridiculous. And the, the, the structures are insane. Like, who did that? When did they do it? So, you know, they think somewhere around 2,500 years BC. But these guys are saying that you can't carbon date stone. This is all guesswork. 